Okay, so now we can have a look at some techniques. Now, um, Year 11, um, you are really proficient in a wide range of art techniques, so you can use any of the techniques that you um, have used throughout your GCSEs for this piece of work. I really like you to see you being really experimental, um, and that's really um, what we're looking for in this project. We're looking for you showing that you can take an idea and you can really, really run with it. That you can look at different application techniques, you can take, make your own original ideas using the source images that I've given you or by finding your own based on this theme of fractured terrain. So it's a quite a broad brief and the images that I've gone from are all um, not photos from the air. Um, so you're getting to see both man-made structures in here as well as natural structures that uh, fracture the terrain that we see. Um, so I'm using them as, as inspiration. Um, I really like the idea in these books how you can have an image running through it. So you might have lots of different images but there might be a common theme that runs through the whole thing. Um, and I'm going to use that as a starting point for my book. Um, so, I have to shorten this a little bit because it was ridiculously long. Um, so, what I'm going to start with is um, I really like the idea of having um, a almost like a, a split going through it so you can see through from one page to another in sections. Um, so, looking at um, these kind of ideas where you've got a, a split running down the middle. So, so this is actually a harbour with all the boats lined up in it. So I'm going to take that as my sort of original idea and I'm going to group some of these pages together and using my scissors I'm actually going to cut out a section of this which feels a bit brutal but um, I really want to create some interest and some layers in here when I'm working. I'm going to take that out So now I've got these split sections where you see through so I can add different materials. I did just find some of this, a little piece of wrapping paper that I really like and I'm going to put that behind some of these sections. Obviously I'm going to have to paint the other side of this because this is a double sided book, I'm going to have to do both sides. But this just gives me um, a starting point. When I work on the other side then I can um, paint on the back of this to, so you won't see that piece of paper anymore. You can use all sorts of collage techniques on this, so if you've got magazines at home, newspapers, you can rip them up to use the colour from them, or the imagery if you want to as well, um, as well as using your own hand-drawn techniques. So, that's a starting point there. Now, I'd like to take this line that I've got here and continue that through, so I'm going to keep that as my my common theme. We talked about there being a common theme that runs through these. So I'm just using a normal black felt tip pen for this. And I want to take that all the way through to the end of my piece of paper. I'm getting those different openings as it runs through. Okay, so onto this, I'm going to go in with some ink. Now, um, I wanted to use the ink and bleach technique, but I haven't got any quink ink at home. Um, but I had a look and I had an um, ink cartridge, and when I emptied the ink out from that, that actually does work with the ink and bleach. I didn't actually know that until today, so that's something that I've learnt through this. So I'm going to use this ink, just with a bit of water to block in against that edge because I'm still trying to work on that idea of this fracturing, this fractured image that I've got here. I'm just using this for inspiration. So really what the, the, the differences between year 11 and year 12 are that the year 12 course is very much a college, it's a college course so it is a double A level award this BTEC. You need to show true independence and true creativity. You need to be willing to take an idea that you're given and run with it and run with it and run with it and try it out in all different materials. Um, that's why you know it's really fortunate that you've had such a breadth of different materials 
at, uh, that you've learnt to use during your um, GCC. So you will be able to, in lessons, once I've given you the starting point, to start working in a material and context of your choice. But you do really need to push through. Um, it's not just, oh, let's make an observational drawing of this, um, now let's do it in a different material, let's do it in another material and let's do a painting of it. You've got to really push the ideas um, and the ideas are given to you in the project brief but once you've been given those ideas you then really really have to run with them. So I'm really liking with this the way the black pen has bled into that ink. Um, and I'm just thinning out this ink towards the edge and then I'm going to start going in with my bleach to break that up a bit more. I'll probably do a bit more with that black pen because that's worked really really well and that was just a normal black felt tip pen, it wasn't anything anything fancy at all. Um, so I'm going to go with a thinner brush, I've got a bit of a motley selection of brushes here, I'll just have to use what I can find. Um, my bleach is in a yogurt pot, so I know it's not my water. Right, so I can start to add this in. Now where I've got the pools of bleach, when I, the pools of ink rather, when I add the bleach it starts to just move out from there on its own, which is giving me these kind of fractured surfaces that I'm looking for. Um, so I've already taken my inspiration from here but I'm actually starting to look at these images as well now where the blue is broken up by these other areas and I can start to pull those through. I don't want to overdo it though, it's very tempting to keep going with that bleach. Now I want to start adding some other colours into there. Some paint a minute ago. Here's that one. There we go. So um, I'm going to go in with. Start now building on those shapes that I've got. So I'm almost creating, I'm feeling a bit like islands in the blue terrain. So this is just one kind of technique that I'm using for this at the moment. You can use whatever you want for these. So you can use pen and ink, you can use watercolours, you can use felted pens, you can use coloured pencils pastels, whatever you've, you've got you can use. Um, I have made you a shopping list at the end of this PowerPoint for equipment that you will need for Year 12. So you might want to get that before you start this project so you've got a nice range of materials to use. Uh, they're all from the works, they're all available in mail order. Um, I've put the works just because it's the cheapest place but you can buy them from wherever you like. Um, so this hopefully will just give you an idea of what you can achieve, um, how you can handle this idea of the folding book and that we're really looking for your own unique ideas and experimentations. You can see just by watching me working on this, although I had a little bit of an idea about splitting it and putting the um, wrapping paper behind it, there was no fixed idea. The artwork has developed as I have been working on it. And that's the maturity of working at this higher level, which you will be next year. It's having that ability to see something, grasp it, work with it, um, and then change it. If it doesn't work out, go back, change it, work through it again, try different materials, try different techniques. So you're really, really pushing the boundaries of your art abilities, of your ideas, how you're portraying um, a theme that's been given to you, really taking things a step further than you have beforehand. Okay, that's all I'm doing for now. I'll do a bit more work on that and put it up on the PowerPoint for you.